when you're printing something and you want to emphasize a particular uh, line or, or information on the page, one of the ways you do that is you put build a box around it. Now, the simplest way to do that is just to take four straight pieces and you build your box. However, when you print this, it's very difficult to get these little lines here to disappear from the print. There's just no way you can get enough force and everything on there. And so the ideal way to take care of that is you miter those joints. I have a little example here. And when they're mitered, that miter joint because it's everything is squeezed in, they disappear from view. So you get a very nice box around there. So how are you going to get a miter joint? Nowadays, we have power saws that you can uh, saw the angles on. But back before electricity, you resorted to something like this. This is the Hansen Company mitering machine. I'm not sure exactly how old it is, but uh, they applied for a patent on this. There's uh, some adjustments you can make with it. You can set the angle and they very conveniently numbered uh, there so that when you pull this pin out, you can swing this around and you can do a square you know, four-sided. You can do a pentagon, you set it on number five. You can put a hexagon, set it on number six. An octagon, you set it on number eight. And you can create these multi-sided things to, to box something in. It's a very simple machine. It has a blade here for trimming and a lot of people see it do that and they think, oh, it's broken or something. No, the, there are four distinct motions to cutting. You would uh, put your stock there and I'm just gonna take you through the motions. You come back, come up, you bring it forward into the cutting position. You shave off just a tiny amount of metal. You pull it back up, forward, down. You repeat that until you have a, a good clean joint there. So, let me just bring this up here. Come forward, down, advance it, shave off a little bit more. It takes a little while, but you can see I'm slowly shaving that that piece of uh, border and so basically that's your you, the way you would have done it before electricity and of course here in the Sacramento History Museum our print shop is definitely represented before electricity 1850s 60s 70s so just an interesting piece of equipment that shows you how things in the shop can progress.